Hello, this is David and welcome to episode number 41 of Make Me Proud, the YouTube series documenting my campaign to become a better sprint swimmer. And in this episode, I'm going to be conducting a technical analysis of my 50 meters freestyle swim at the Steel City Masters Meet 2023. So if you give this video a like, I would very much appreciate it. And remember to subscribe to this channel to make sure that you don't miss out on any future episodes. But otherwise, without any further ado, let's dive right in to today's analysis. So an incredibly slow reaction time off of the blocks is the key thing that I need to improve on from this race going into nationals. Otherwise, I start down the front 25 with a nice high stroke rate and similarly execute the tumble turn incredibly well by my standards. I'm also able to hold that power and high stroke rate coming down the back 25, meaning that I'm able to finish with a time of 28.85 seconds. So the key aspect from that race which I need to improve on is my reaction time off of the block. For some reason, I'd gotten into this weird habit of waiting for the starter buzzer to completely stop sounding before making my jump. However, instead, I really need to focus on starting my jump as soon as I hear that starter buzzer go. So I'm losing probably about half a second just by that slow reaction time off of the blocks. And thankfully, as you'll see in next week's video, in my technical analysis of my 50 fly race, this is something that I'm easily able to rectify after just having had that little bit of feedback and seeing that this is something that I need to improve on. Similarly, I've also been able to improve upon this in training and maintain a good reaction time in training. So hopefully that means going into nationals in a couple of weeks time, there is nothing overly major that I need to be working on with regards to my 50 meters freestyle or rather nothing major that I need to fix because ultimately at this point um, there is very little time to actually rectify um, any problems with my race whatsoever. However one thing I just wanted to uh, bring up with regards to that race is that the the quality of the people that I was swimming against there uh, was rather high. I came last in that race, so everybody in that pool was ultimately better at the 50 meters freestyle than myself. And just having watched that uh, race back a couple of times, it's given me a little bit of insight into where I also need to be improving my stroke. And I think some of the key areas there are first off is with my rotation of the stroke. So that's um, twisting my body uh, with each stroke, making sure that I get a really nice catch, a really nice pull through the water, and using my lats, my shoulders, the rest of my body to really uh, pull myself through the water, whereas at the moment I'm sort of relying more so on my arms than the actual rotation of my body to propel myself along in the water. So that's one thing um, after nationals that I probably want to uh, focus on a lot more. I think yeah, there's just too little time going into nationals to actually uh, look at that. And I don't really want to try uh, mixing up my stroke all that much uh, this close to the biggest event of the year for me. So that's one thing. And then secondly, as well, I think the other key thing is to really keep working on increasing that stroke rate. So whilst I said in that race that I was really happy with my stroke rate, um, that was in reference to uh, my ability, my typical stroke rate, and um, yeah, not that, not that of those around me in that race. Pretty much uh, everybody in that race had a higher stroke rate than me, um, and therefore, you know, that's that's something again that I want to that I want to work on going forward, so I can really increase my power throughout the pool and just increase my speed going through the water. Because I think that once once I've done that, then, you know, I'm really going to start, um, yeah, start seeing some massive drops in my 50 meters freestyle time. Subscribe to my channel to get notified whenever I upload any new videos. 
click on the thumbnail to watch another video of mine, or to gain clarity and confidence on how to eat in order to accelerate progress towards your athletic goals, visit westcoff.com forward slash bootcamp.